Laura, thank you so much for joining us today. We're following the critical minerals worldwide. And of course, antimony is on the critical mineral list for a number of companies. Can you tell us how you're involved with antimony, please? Uh, yes, thank, thank you, Tracy. So I'm the CEO of Molten Metals. Molten Metals is an antimony development company. We target near-term producing assets and past producers um, in order to take antimony from mine to market. For those of you out there going, okay, what is antimony? Can you explain to the market what antimony is, please? Yeah, antimony is a is a critical metal. It's, it's stibnite SB on the on the periodic table, and it's used traditionally as a flame retardant and as a metal for defense for hardening bullets. Um, more and more recently, it's now going to be used as the metal of choice for antimony molten salt batteries, which are batteries specifically that is going to be used for taking renewable energy and storing it and feeding it to the electricity grids. So, so that's the future importance of antimony in addition to current uses. And of course, you've been in the industry for a very long time. You're a very senior expert in the industry. Some people out there may be going, wow, you only have what, 17 million shares outstanding. Is that correct? Yes, that, that is correct. It, we kept it as a very clean vehicle, um, a very lean mean, so that we, we can uh, move forward with projects. And let me also confirm that you're not like a lot of companies where you're just doing exploration. You're going exploration towards production. You are, uh, your objective is to be a producing antimony company. Is that correct? Yes, our, 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 our aim is to, to end up into production, yes. A lot of these, um, these antimony opportunities are small, highly de-risked assets that can be put into production fairly quickly and fairly cheaply. And um, we know how to trade it. We know, we know the commercial terms of antimony. Uh, we've, got one of the, we've got the CEO of one of the largest antimony roasters outside of China sitting on our board of directors. So that, that will be our aim is to get this into production. Well, of course, we are aware of the fact that you are deemed one of the top international global experts for, you're also on the CMI board of directors. Can you tell us which of your assets are currently your number one priority because you have a number of them? Uh, yes, we, we currently have four assets. One of them is tin, three of them are in Timini. Um, and we're actually looking at closing another one um, so uh, hopefully when I'm invited back to speak, we can um, have that good news as well. Um, at the moment, we're busy uh, focusing on our European asset, which is called Toyova. Toyova, once it gets into production, has got the potential to be the fourth or fifth largest antimony producer globally. Um, it was developed um, when, when Slovakia was part of the USSR under the Soviet um, regime. So we have a lot of data um, on that particular asset and it's been built. I mean, you can actually stand at the base of that asset, look into it. You can see the tunnels, all the, uh, all the steel beams are still there. Everything's intact. The rail is still there. So it's a matter of opening that gate, which is literally it's locked by a gate, um, going in and confirming the data that uh, the Russians have left us. For everybody interested in more information on molten metals, please go to the following website uh, or send a note to Laura Smith directly. Thank you so much for joining us, Laura. It's great to see you. Thank you, Tracy.